Here comes, comes the money. money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. You wanted to see me, Shane? Money, 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 money. Shane! Oh, hey, there you are. Just the guy I've been looking for. Yeah, I got a message that you had something important to tell me. So what's the deal? Well, I've got some very exciting news for you. Effective immediately, you've been traded from Raw to SmackDown. Traded? For what? Did I get on someone's bad side or something? No, exactly the opposite. I represented Raw in this deal. And let me tell you, Teddy Long was willing to give up like half his roster to get you in SmackDown. He's convinced that a superstar like yourself, well, it's exactly what Teddy needs to take SmackDown to the top. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. And I'd love a chance to wear that World Heavyweight title around my waist. Hey, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened sooner rather than later. So on behalf of Raw, let me be the first to congratulate you on a new career as a SmackDown superstar. Well, on behalf of SmackDown, let me be the first to offer Raw my condolences on officially becoming the number two brand in sports entertainment. Later, Shano. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Friday Night SmackDown. This is Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside, and what a way to start the show with our World Heavyweight Champion. I gotta say, I'm impressed with this guy. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. He's exactly the champ SmackDown needs to compete with Raw. And we'll be seeing him in action tonight in a non-title match with Hardcore Holly. And the opponent Good evening and welcome to SmackDown coming to you tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Lena is fired up tonight, Cole. No doubt about it, baby, and I'm just as pumped up as the sellout crowd. Good reason, Taz. You and I both know what's coming, and these fans are definitely getting their money's worth tonight. One. The thing you gotta remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man task. Surely you can't forget about that. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that if you know what I'm saying. And by the way, let me ask you a question. You call me Shirley? What a reversal. Submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of the call. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. 
And that's where the superb condition... He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Yeah, thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast partner, right? You know what you should do, girl pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. It, it could be the king and queen on top of Real funny, Taz. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End the story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. Wow. Great reversal. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you would pull for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret. He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. There's the cover. Here's your winner. Hey, champ. I've been meaning to tell you how happy I am that we've got such an outstanding man such as yourself as our world heavyweight champion. I tell you what, SmackDown hasn't had such a noble champion with such a bright future since... Well, let me guess, since you were champ. Oh, I don't like to talk about myself. Besides, this is your time now. Let me tell you what, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you just come to your buddy JBL. You hear me? Actually, there is something. I just found out from our general manager, Teddy Long, that I've got a tag team match against Hardcore Holly and Ken Kennedy next week. And, and you need a partner, right? Say no more, champ. JBL's got your back. I'll see you next week, pal. Taz, you don't believe for a second that JBL is actually sincere in his praise for the champion, do you? Ah, uh, come on, cut him some slack, Cole. Why are you always thinking the worst about people? Champ, it's me, JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield. Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I can't wait for our tag team match against Holly and Mr. Kennedy. And don't worry, pal, I'm not about to let anything happen to our world heavyweight champion, and you can take that to the bank. I don't know what JBL's playing at, sucking up to the World Heavyweight Champion the way he has, but I don't buy this new Mr. Nice Guy act for a second. I seem to remember how JBL abused his power almost every week that he was the champion here on SmackDown. Jeez, Cole, can you be a little bit more cynical? Lighten up, buddy. People change, you know? I mean, look at you. Sometimes you like to put a little frost in your hair. Sometimes you like to grow a little beard. You're a little freaky. You're a weirdo. Doesn't do anything for you, though. Regardless, I'm not saying that people can't change. I'm just saying JBL's got a lot of convincing to do before I buy it.
I hope the champ isn't making a big mistake here, teaming up with JBL like this. Only you could figure that teaming up with the longest running WWE Champion of the last decade would be a mistake. We'll see. I guess it all depends on how badly JBL wants another run with the world title, Taz. A big Southern California welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area. Cole here. I'm from San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we could be more excited to be here. in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. And injured superstars like the wounds animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100 percent you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent eat the easy with it. Consider any of the oh, submission hold blocks in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out. Oh my, there's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in and you clean that game, that much left. And the crowd is coming alive tonight. That was a textbook reversal. And here's the reversal. There are a lot of superstars in the back who'd like to shut Ken Kennedy's mouth once and for all. I ain't disagreeing with you. But there's a huge difference between wanting to do that and being able to pull that off. Mr. Kennedy ain't no pushover, I'm telling you. That's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out to this one, Cole. You and me both, partner. And we might be about to see another one right here. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea. Neither do I, Taz, and I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. And there's the pin! This capacity oh. crowd is yeah. Is that it? No, only a two count. These superstars have been going all along now. They sure have, and that's where the superb conditioning, and that is just about, he's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last word. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact of his. Oh, jeez. Someone's voice just went up a couple of octaves. It hurts just watching. I can't imagine how excruciating this must be. Well, the name of the game is to beat your opponent down until they can't do it for the belt. And that's exactly what's happening here. Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. Yeah, well, you know what? I got some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn what you think. I don't think they're 
There's never been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary Dead Man. So long. And the dead man has been here for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the phenom. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess there? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> now, if I knew it was that easy, I would have... He's tagging in his partner. Oh, my God. Look at the blood just pouring down his face. He wasted no time going for that pin. <laughs> Champ, looks like Teddy Long's put me on the shelf for a week after the little incident that happened after our match last week. Can't say as I blame him. I guess I must have shown a little uh, irrational exuberance out there. Must have been the crowd that got me all fired up. Did you hear them cheering for us last week? We were like a couple of a wrestling uh, gods. Anyway, I can't wait to work together again soon. Good luck out there tonight. Well, while I can't say I'm the greatest supporter of Mr. Kennedy Fair is fair, so I'm glad to see that he seems to have recovered from JBL's unprovoked assault last week. Unprovoked? Unprovoked, Cole. He was walking up behind JBL's partner. That is a no-no in that ring, especially after a competitive match like the one they had last week. Regardless of whether JBL's attack on Kennedy last week was warranted, you have to admit that the champ wouldn't be caught up in this grudge match tonight if it wasn't for his partner's actions last week. So what's the big deal, miss? He's the champ. He's a fighting champ. The champ's got to compete in matches now and then. And it's not like this is a title match, so what's the big deal? This sold-out crowd is on its feet here in St. Louis, Missouri. Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. 
I'll tell you, Cole, these WWE fans are so fired up, I'm having a hard time standing my seat. I'm with you on that, partner. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis fans, and I can't wait to get started. Man, it, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. And that don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You penos is the part that's completely helpless to resist the submission hold. And that means you got to even dig deep and find a way to break it, or you got to just flat out tap out. is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it a day. Look at this shot after shot being dished out here in the turnbuckle. And any time you're taking punches like that and you're not answering back, well, you ain't on the winning side of this match. Let's just put it that way. Watch it. He reversed it. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Please, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. Mr. Kennedy, he's got it all. He's got the look, he's great on the stick, and he knows how to get it done in the ring. Yeah, and if you don't believe it, just ask him. He won't hesitate to tell you how great he is. Yeah, so, what's wrong with that? Uh-oh, you know what's coming next, Cole. Tombstone pile driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? He could pin his opponent right here. One, two, three. Whoa. See, Cole, I knew it. Kennedy was looking to take out the champ last week. of fire. He's coming to the aid of his partner, just like he did last week, Cole. You see that, Cole? Anything you want to take back now? I don't know, Taz. I'm not convinced. You okay, champ? Listen. No mercy's a week from Sunday. And you don't have a challenger yet. And well, I, I was I was thinking. I knew JBL had an ulterior motive. What? You gotta be kidding. Listen to these WWE fans. They love them. I guess that's it then. The World Heavyweight Champion will put the title on the line against JBL a week from Sunday at No Mercy. Champ, it's Theodore Long. The contract's all set for your title match against JBL this Sunday at No Mercy. Frankly, I'm a little surprised about JBL's behavior recently, especially since the championship's on the line. But I'm not gonna tell you how to handle your business. I got plenty of my own to take care of, including promoting the pay-per-view. And speaking of that, Jillian Hall and Melina have got a match at No Mercy too.
So I'm making a mixed tag tonight with you and Melina taking on JBL and Jillian. It's our main event, though, so don't let me down, player. I'm going to predict that this man is going to find out tonight why JBL is not to be trusted. JBL clearly had a title shot as his ulterior motive all along, and I just can't buy him at face value. What is wrong with you, Cole? A hottie like Melina is making her way down here, and all you can think about is JBL's face? Okay, buddy. Nothing against Melina, but this is about JBL's long history as a bully and a cheat. I have a hard time believing JBL would just turn over a new leaf overnight. Mark my words, Taz, you're going to see JBL do something, either in this match or after it, to give himself an advantage this Sunday at no mercy. You're paranoid, Cole. I know you think JBL's been a jerk in the past, but he really seems like he's been trying to change. Well, JBL might have you and the champ fooled, but I'm simply not convinced. It's the city so nice, they named it twice. Tonight, SmackDown comes to you from the Big Apple, New York City. A place that I am very proud to call home, Cole, and also a place that I'm proud to say I made my WWE debut. It sure is, Parker. And you know, it's always a huge event whenever SmackDown comes to the city that never sleeps. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. There's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out for this one, Cole. You and me both, partner, and we might be about to see another one right here. I wonder how Jake... Oh, God! The ref's on Dream Street, Cole. Anything goes now. Unfortunately, you're right, Taz. There's no one to enforce the rules until the ref revives. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. The thing you gotta remember about this Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. Surely you can't forget about them. Well, you see, that's the other 50%. Good luck with that, if you know what I'm saying. And by the way, let me ask you a question. You call me Shirley? Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. 
What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut the yap for a few seconds, then I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry if I disturbed you. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Cole? Everything JBL... He's got him covered! You gotta be careful when you're going up there. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had... He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly... There's the cover. Expecting JBL to drop the nice guy act and turn on the champ tonight, but there's still a few days before No Mercy, and I wouldn't put anything past a man like John Bradshaw Lafayette. I'll give JBL credit for trying to stick to the straight and narrow, and I think the fans do too. You know, Taz, I never would have guessed that JBL could make it all the way to No Mercy without showing his true colors. But with the World Heavyweight Championship within reach, you have to wonder if the temptation to rely on his former methods might be too great to resist. Cole, will you please drop it? Seriously, you've been hopping on JBL for weeks now, and he ain't done jack to deserve it. You're supposed to be unbiased, right? So be unbiased, because you're uncool. You're thinking of the referee, Taz. Maybe everyone else on SmackDown has a short-term memory, but I remember the old JBL. I just hope that by the end of the match tonight, nobody else will have a reason to. And here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. For his sake, I hope he hasn't been completely suckered in by JBL's nice guy act. Whether it's an act or not, no champion goes into the ring expecting his opponent ain't gonna take every advantage, Cole. Once that bell rings, may the best man win. 
And you know as well as I, Taz, that taking advantage is something JBL does, excuse me, used to do better than anyone. And mark my words, if we're going to see the other shoe drop, it's going to be right here tonight. submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injuries. He slipped out of that one. And there's the reversal. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked into Taz's mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Oh, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. And here we go with the submission hold. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hold, Paul. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut the yap for a few seconds, then I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary Deadman. The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz. But I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Paul? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on the line night after night. He does it because he's a man of the people. Oh, please. He does it because the... I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it. But as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. Man, you talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match if you wanna do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Colina. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a broadcast partner either. You know what you should do, Girl Pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler, 
<laughs> it looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone pile driver. He's got him covered. that the champion has retained the World Heavyweight title in what I'd have to call one of the most surprising matches I've ever seen. Yeah, I guess you'd call that a surprisingly classy move by JBL. What do you think about him now, Cole? Honestly, Taz, I don't know what to think. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm beginning to think that JBL might actually be sincere about this whole good guy thing. believe this it's like a totally new JBL thank you Captain Obvious that's what I've been trying to tell you about look at that he's wiping away a tear Cole you can't fake sincerity like that well partner even a snake can shed his skin I just hope JBL keeps this up and has turned over a new leaf.